The problem is pretty simple, really. We haven't built enough housing over the last several years. We are uh, down about 1.5 million homes in the country. And here in Delaware, according to the National Income Housing Coalition's report, uh, there are 31 homes available for every 100 of the lowest income renters. There's a shortage of homes, of affordable homes in Delaware of 18,000. If you want to make a difference in education issues, first solve housing. If you want to make a difference in public health issues, first solve housing. If you want to make a difference in public safety issues, first solve housing. If you have challenges with children, if you have challenges with seniors, if you have challenges with families, if you have challenges with hope and opportunity, the platform on which all of that rests is safe, sanitary, decent, and affordable housing. We are facing challenges across the country. And these are challenges that are solvable. It is not impossible. It is not impossible to take on housing affordability. How it gets done is exactly what's happening here. Family by family, block by block, community by community. Let me give you just a perspective on this part of the east side. Uh, a block down, Habitat developed 17 houses over 10 years ago. You've got these 12 going in. These will be done uh, by July. The next block will be developed by Woodlawn Trustees, where they're going to develop 20 houses affordable rental uh, for families. And then the next block down will be another 20 Habitat homes for sale for first time home buyers. That, that's just Bennett Street. Then you have Central Baptist CDC, you have Wilmington Housing Authority, more properties that Woodlawn is working on in other parts of the east side. Uh, we talked about the critical repairs that are going on, over 100 uh, that are going to go on for low-income homeowners that already live in their houses here on the east side. Tremendous change. We are one of a small group of jurisdictions across this country in something called the House America Program. The House America Program to compare uh, best practices across the country, to make sure we're providing data and metrics on our housing expenditures. We announced about six months ago a $30 million program to address this crisis in affordable housing, and we're going to be putting that money on the street very, very shortly if seven members of county council let me do it. Um, so, in closing, let me just say thank you so much for visiting. Please come again. As was stated, the president knows Wilmington. He knows Bennett Street. He's been there, and it's fantastic for us all to be working together on the same issues. Thank you.